Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> My name is Dave Luza. I am Ilka Luza. And we have a top 10 for you. Yes, uh, it's uh, filler games, games that we like to play when we have a little time before school with a cup of coffee in the garden uh, and games that we really like. Let's do that now. Let's do that right no, now. Exactly. Uh, uh, top 10, uh, 20 <laughs> games from a uh, 10 from both of us. Uh, we have one crossover. Oh, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. uh, you go first. I go first. Number 10 is uh, Spicy. This is a fun little card bluffing game. You pretend to put a card, a number on the table, which it is not. And if you get caught, well, you get caught. You want to get rid of all your cards. Uh, super beautiful art. Uh, it's about spicy foods, chili, pepper and wasabi. What's not to love? Yeah. And Bo is really good at it. Her yes. son. Yes. 13 years old, such a good liar. Uh, my n first number 10 is oh, uh, Whirling so Witchcraft. Good. This is a game that surprised me totally. Yeah. I didn't think I would love it this yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you're, you're trying to create uh, uh, potions. potions. And the mechanic is weird because you're trying to give your opponent stuff that they can't use. That, Let their cauldron overflow. And yeah. if they overflow, you get the points for that. Yeah. Uh, it is so much fun. It's very tactile. You can move the little cubes around, which I love. Yeah, I had some points, uh, some 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 things with the cubes. They were too small, and there were too little of them. <laughs> very but, true. Uh, it's really a very fun true. game. Whirling witchcraft. Yes. My number ten. Uh, my oh. number nine is it is uh, Voll Verplant, mm -hmm. which is a makeover of Metro X. Yes. Um, from this is from Schmidtspieler. It is uh, um, same designer. Uh, there's one card difference yes. <laughs> with the original Metro X, yes. but you yes. now have four new maps to work uh, with. You have Berlin, uh, Paris, Amsterdam, uh, I believe. Yeah. Uh, you go with the metro. You uh, you make crosses. You roll dice. You move. Oh, so much fun! So 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 much fun! A lot of fun. Voll verplant, yes. which also means in German you're a bit. Uh, um, like yes. that. Yes, yes, yes. You don't know what's going on. That's for plant. Yes. My number nine is a game that uses an app. It's called Soviet Kitchen. Oh, it's so good. This uh, game wants you to uh, recreate a certain color. Well, actually, you make a about, dish. You yeah, make sausage, dishes. cabbage, yeah. and a gravy. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you see, oh, the sausage. It looks, it looks brownish. Well, we don't have those ingredients. You know what? We'll put stuff in that make it look brownish and then it will work as sausage. Just weird, weird ingredients. Yeah. Some are, um, 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 what do you call it? Radioactive. It's Some are poisonous. Some can counter effect that. It's it's so much fun. And right now the theme is hitting me totally. I think, oh, we probably should not have put this on the list, but uh, it's it, a fun game though. It, it uses an game. app to, to make sure that you use the colors you make. A lot yes. of fun. Soviet Kitchen. This my is number, nine. number eight. Uh, this dropped a bit in my, uh, I have to say, oh, my favorite eight. list. It used to be my top number one game. This is the game that I always wanted to play and that we played over and over and over again. Jump Drive is the, what do you call it, is the card game? F uh, the the, uh, the uh, small version of Roll for the Galaxy. Yes. So if you take Roll for the Galaxy, you have uh, five phases. Well, this is only three. Uh, three of those phases it is uh such a fun game so 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 fast. much fun super fast it's set in space which i love i still love all the space games yeah you, um, you taught this to a lot of people and they I all this. were very excited and got exactly it. and yeah. i plan to teach this to more people because it's a good game jump I love it. drive jump drive jump drive my number eight is kabuto sumo oh, so which is a weird dexterity game it's like those coin pushers there's this tree yes. stem and uh, there are all these types of. You've got one of you, one of the discs that is on that tree uh, stem is is yours, and you're trying to keep that on whilst also pushing your opponents off. It's a, a little bit weird, yeah. but it's a, a fun. You can play this with two, with three. You can even play it with four. This we played a lot before school, Bo and I. It's yeah. so much fun because it's so fast. You are a bug. Your meeple is a bug, an insect. It is so beautiful. You've got special powers because bugs, they all look different. Uh, some might have like these antennas and then, hey, now your antenna is an extra weapon to push through. A lot of fun. My number eight, Kabuto <gasps> Sumo. <laughs> I'm just changing my order. That's why something's Ooh. falling down. Last minute. Number seven is high score. A super fast and fun uh, push your luck dice game. Uh, yeah. You have several. You have changing uh, assignments seven that you have to do uh, in a row, 
and um, it is so, so, so fast. So fun. So much fun. Different uh, rules in every round, which is uh, fun. Um, it is, uh, it's just a good game. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and people who do not understand a lot about games, they really get into this one oh, fast. Oh, absolutely. Because it is like Yahtzee. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's like Yahtzee. Yeah. But uh, it, you understand there are three different rules that you need to understand, and, and if you get that, you just do it. This is definitely a game if you want to get people into the hobby, and if you want to bring something to a family reunion, and you're not sure what to bring, this is a sure winner for that. Yeah. Score. High score! Uh, my next game is a reiteration of the second version of Galaxy Trucker. Sorry, I get so Trucker. excited about your choices. I'm like <laughs> sitting here like a monkey being like, ooh, good game. But this is... Well, I like your your, your <sighs> choices as well. A Galaxy Trucker. Uh, we, we used to own, well, we still own it, the anniversary edition of Galaxy Trucker, which is a box that is three times as big as this one. And it has all these different maps and it's got all these expansions and all these different tiles. So when you start playing it, we needed to sort it out. Everything is like, oh no, let's not do this this time. And uh, But this one is brand new and it's just back to basic. Uh, it is fast and it For is furious. You build your own spaceship, then you go on a journey. In that journey, your spaceship usually falls apart. Whoever comes home with the most intact pieces and some stuff that you collect on the way is the winner. Um, it has The two phases are brilliant. I love the building phase more, I have to say, than the travel. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the travel can be like a little bit, oh, more yeah, cards. Now we do get, this. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this game is, it could be a long game if you play all scenarios, if you go through all the, 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 the three steps building your spaceship three times but you can also just say you know what we will only do a level two or a level three spaceship around this this uh, this game talking about this could be a long game here's my number six this could be a long game if you play it the way we play this is the right way up yes it is patchwork doodle you uh f basically you fill in the square with tetris shaped shapes you fill a shape with other shapes. Yes, you do. But if you do it like we do it usually on our stream, uh, we do it a bit artsy fartsy. Yeah. Like we do themes, then we draw them in not in a like in a doodle, but in 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 concrete. Like we had food, we had we did a Lego one, which I really loved. But you can play this very fast. Yeah. It is so much fun. Also known as second chance, although yes. it has one small yes. rule change, but second chance uses almost the same shapes and it's almost the same idea just try to complete your uh, your 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 sheet number six nice uh, I have chosen the border this could have been any Aww. of the other games uh, by NSV games that uh, uh, Dice land and uh, well they had they have loads of these uh, fun fact is it uses dice but the the oh. lid is also the dice tray with filth in it and uh, felt, felt. I believe felt. it's a piece of carpet. That's what it feels like. It's a piece of carpet. It is so satisfying to roll your dice in that. It, it really it's is. really great. Uh, in this game, you are trying to uh, to make a border around certain landmarks, and uh, it it has a, a you roll and the dice that you keep are only yours, but all the ones that you cannot use go to the other players and then it goes around, goes around. And uh, it's a fast game, it's an easy game, and I really like it. That is The Border. <laughs> Number, I believe it is five, although I don't have five games left. Well, that's beside the point. Number five is <laughs> Lost Cities. And I have here the roll and write and the card game, which I both love equally, I have to say. I love the card game uh, because the cards are really beautiful. I love the roll and write because it's such a good implementation of the game. These are, I mean, c classics. Uh, and Yeah, well, uh, this one is brand new. Yeah. Uh, Lost Cities is pretty new, uh, roll and write. Ooh. But the other one is definitely a classic, and I really love it. Every time I think, I'm going to crush you, no, and exactly. then in the end I... Exactly. <laughs> I exactly. It's, there's a lot of bluffing and maneuvering what the other person might want uh, in this which I usually don't like, but in this game, I can take it and go wholeheartedly for it. It's, yeah. Lost Cities. Yes. Uh, this is, uh, we're at number six. Number Are five is, is coming up. Okay. Uh, here we go. My choice is uh, a quick game of Hex Roller. Uh, this, this also is like a placeholder for other games that I really enjoy, like... I forgot what the other name was. Uh, the other game. The with other the... way with the dice where you roll. <laughs> uh, 
uh, that's not helping. But Hex Roller <laughs> is a, a really fun game. Uh, we have the expansion in it that makes it a little bit harder to do. It, it's a, uh, I really like the designer, uh, Rustan Hakansen. He was uh, also responsible for a, a big game like Nations, or mm. Nations, oh, the nice game. Nations. Which nice could game. easily have, could been... have been here as well. Yeah. But uh, I chose... Yes. Hex Roller, my number six as a game I, that you can play. Fast. I think I dropped number seven somewhere. I'm pretty sure if Did you, you watch this, it? I don't think I had a number seven, which is funny because I come to this game as my number five. Seven Wonders Architects. Now this, I have to, I know it's a lot of games we have to get through, but I have to show you this because it's so beautiful if you don't know it, because every player gets their own wonder package like this. It looks like this. And um, uh, and then everyone has their wonder and builds their wonder. I believe Dave wants to show it to you. Um, I, I, I really have to show this to you. So the side, when you have not uh, yet made your wonder, looks like this. Um, is it true? No. I'm, I'm... Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, I, I, am I doing this the right way? You are this doing this This is the this fire the tower way. of Alexandria, by the way. The lighthouse. Um, the lighthouse. Um, the fire tower. I like I, the I'm fire just tower. I'm making up words here. Thank but you there are much. seven of these wonders in the yes. game. Everyone is... Uh, you have them in front of you, and yes. it feels really nice. Yeah. I've heard of people saying they have played this game on Board Game Arena, uh, but it's just not the same. You get your own little have own card trays with your with your cards that the others can use as well if you build your wonders if you make them this card this tray is, is so smart yeah it and is that it's in a, it yeah. feels so good it feels so good if you make the wonders then you turn them over and then it all looks beautiful my little fire tower lighthouse situation over here so this is what it would look like when it's assembled. I don't think this is the right way. Well, doesn't matter. You know, you get it. Uh, Seven Wonders Architects. Yes, nice choice. Well done. And I continue with Unmatched. Mm. I just grabbed two unmatched characters that I'm really proud of having them here in Yay! Europe because they're pretty hard to get. Bruce Lee and uh, uh, the uh, Deadpool uh, Unmatched set. Uh, we have loads of these, and you just pick a character, get the cards, put up the board, and you start fighting. Uh, it's <laughs> I really like yeah. it. Uh, this is the one skirmish game that I, I really like. Uh, it has all these awesome characters, and they are fun. This is so I fun. love it for the improbable combinations, opponents that you get. Yes. That you get, like, is, uh, like uh, what what's the... Alice uh, in Wonderland... Uh, uh, versus Sherlock Holmes. Versus Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Which, yeah. Was it Sherlock Holmes? Yeah, yeah. it was Sherlock Holmes. Maybe. <laughs> Cobble and Pog. We're not too sure. Uh, but awesome, awesome, awesome. So my number five is unmatched. Yeah, something happened here. I dropped some numbers. My next number, let's call it that, yeah. is uh, this one. Floriferous. Oh, yes. Which I could also call uh, enormous uh, love. I love this so much. This is about flowers and a garden. And you collect the flowers and the bugs and you have a cup of tea. It's super relaxing. It's also very, very... There's a cup of tea in the game. There's a cup of tea in the game. It is... Uh, uh, it's not... It's. It can be a bit stabby. It's It's not in the realm of cute but stabby. Well, not that's because we play this as a two-player game yes. where we... Uh, well, I'm going to spite draft this card because... I yeah. don't care about the other ones. I just I know, don't want I know, you to have it. I know. It. There's some spite drafting in the, here for sure. Yeah. And it's so beautiful and relaxing and nice. It's a bit fast. That's the only um, quarrel I have with this one. It can be over very fast. And then you're like, but I want it to do. But I mean, that's just a good sign. Just yeah. put it down and play another round. Floriferous. Floriferous. I don't know why my numbers are so messed up. It's it's because it's numbers. You go. Dave, you go. Please. I will go. I have chosen a game that um, that is like a flip and write. It can be different flip and writes. But I chose uh, the Boomerang Australia. Uh, Boomerang is a series of games that have different themes. And this is the Australia one. Uh, you are trying to collect cards. Uh, you're marking them off on your score sheet if you choose them. And they will uh, give you sites in Australia, and they all come with different perks. Like, what can you do there? You can you can hike. You can uh, swim. You can swim. Take and, pictures. Uh, you try to get majorities in certain areas to um, to score points at the end. 
I really like the boomerang version of this, uh, the, the Australia version of yeah. this. And I know there's a, there's a Europe version and... Um, there I learned so more. much in this game I yeah. learned, uh, about Australia so much. And um, yeah, beautiful game. We played it on stream several times. Really, really good. So game. now we need to play this in Australia. Oh, yes. Or New Zealand. <laughs> Just saying. Dave, what that am I doing my here? number four. Am I, am I now? That, that would make my this one number three, which is not true. This, But it's, uh, let's call this my number three. It's the Similo family. Yeah. And we have them all, I believe. We have them. Well, yes. the ones that are out yet. Uh, and they're all beautiful. I mean, of course, I love animals. So the animals and the wild animals are awesome. But um, the spookies and the myths, so, so, so great. So Similo is a game uh, that one package comes with uh, 27 cards, I think. And uh, you sh choose 12, you 35. shuffle them, and you look at it. And that one card, you you are playing together with the other ones. You want the others to guess which card you've chosen. And then you shuffle them back and put the 12 cards open on the table. And then you use five of the other cards to give us clue. My character that is on the card that I looked at before is either similar or absolutely not similar to this other card and the hints could uh hint to anything could be the background color it could be uh, that it's a male or female character it could be the way they're looking i mean the way are they looking to the right or the left their hair do they have something on their head and it's especially fun to combine them like to have like actual historical figures and to prepare yeah. uh, comp prepare compare them to animals so much fun yeah try to to tell everyone it's a mouse by Playing Madame Curie. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> also, very, very uh, nice that you learn something about history, about myths and fables. Yeah. Super awesome. So this is uh, also a very nice uh, breakfast game for yes. us before school. Ooh, and just uh, did that this week. Exactly. You can get three rounds in before the kid just has to leave in. for school. So yeah. nice. Uh, next up, my number three is... Is it number three? Yes, I... it is. It's Seven a... Wonders Duel, oh, Duel, Duel. Now, of course, this is a two-player game, uh, the two-player version of Seven Wonders, and it is awesome. Um, there are two expansions out for this, and this box contains both of them. It's still the, the, the base game, so I love it when Maybe both fits expansions in, yeah. uh, fit in. Um, but the, uh, the expansions are a little bit stabby even more mm -hmm. so uh mm -hmm. when i play with you i tend to not use them <laughs> because because i'm so peaceful no 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 just I, I, I just I enjoy the base game then uh, but uh if i play with my other friend uh yoshi uh, when we play together we it's all gloves off and we put i mean <laughs> we, yeah. we attack and try to do yeah. anything to to win seven wonders duel i just got this uh, game as an app as well and it works amazing yes works so, really well seven wonders duel my number three so that two more games this, this would make this number two uh, as i said the order is not in order anymore but this is a super fun game that we just got uh, and there's no box to show you because it comes in a weird package a cone so it comes in a cone so i'll show you what's inside it's these spiky dastards because that's what it's called it's spiky dastard um a combination of, it's a reaction game. It's not a dexterity game, of course. You just have to grab these. There's cards um, and there's rules to the cards uh, that tell you which of these spiky dastards to grab. Oh, was I right? No, I wasn't. Um, and they are spiky. It really hurts. When it you, really hurts. When you, when you grab them and when the opponent tries to grab it from your... If you do this, then... <laughs> <laughs> Talking about gloves off. Now, this is a gloves off game, yeah. especially with kids. It's a game that kids and grown ups can have fun together with. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's, it's so beautiful. Our son is 13, and I thought, I, I wasn't sure if he would like this, but he, he really loves, loves this game. And thanks to Phil and Lisa for, for gifting us this game because we didn't have it and both saw it, fell in love with it, and then I said, well, you know what? Here, <laughs> you have it. So, uh, thank you so much for that. Really fun game. Uh, try it out if you see it. It comes, as we said, in a weird cone, so it would won't fit any game shelf. It's just yeah. in the way, I would say. So we just have it in a plastic bag. Yeah. 
My number two is actually two games. Hey, it's my top ten. Yeah, I can you, do you whatever can do that. I want. It's two your, games your that list, baby. look a little bit not the same, but I feel they they fought, they come in the same category. Yes. Uh, they're both uh, brand new explorers. Uh, they both have very famous uh, uh, designers, Richard Garfield and mm -hmm. Phil Walker Harding. Mm -hmm. These these are the people you want to play games uh, uh, from. from. <laughs> uh, you are with both probably too. With yeah. as well, yes. Uh, here you're rolling dice and you're you're making notes, and here you are flipping tiles and making notes on your score sheet. I really like that idea, and and yeah. for quick games they they work perfectly. Yeah. There are four different um, uh, sheets, score sheets in this game for uh, every player, so uh, you have a different game each time. Yeah. Uh, this game, however, it has a modular board that uh, gives you new ways to uh, to explore the land and, and get the points for that. This is my idea of, of a quick game. Just whoop, put set it up, score sheet for you, score sheet for me, and flip or roll, or and, and I really enjoy it. So, yes. Yes. My number two. Okay, my number one game. Wait, this... wait. Oh. because your number one game is also my number one. Oh, game. <laughs> oh, I love that. I didn't know. Oh, no, I love that. You didn't oh, that's know why that. I didn't have enough games here. It okay, is. I get it. I get it, it is the game that we think is the best game of 2021. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's beautiful. It's so, so, so much fun. I'm quite addicted to it. And it is... <laughs> Cascadia! This game is so much fun. A another game with Beth Sobel art. Yes. Uh, and and uh, it is... Yeah. Randy Flynn, uh, Beth Sobel. Beth Sobel, I blame you for many hours. <laughs> <laughs> it draws you in. It's, um, it, it is a tile-laying game. It is tile-laying. It is collecting animals in certain ways. Cascadia is... Um, uh, do, you, do you want to open it? I want to. I want to open it we're, really, we're really open it. quick. Because it's our number one, we can do that. Yes, yes. we can do that. Yes. Oh, it comes the tiles, the animal uh, thingies come in this beautiful bag. Um, you are drafting tiles, and uh, the tiles come with uh, animals that you need that are only allowed to to be on certain spots. So you're not only choosing the tile that you want to add to your starting tile. Um, but you are also choosing which animals are going to live on that st those tiles. Some of the tiles can only hold specific animals. Some are open for others. So uh, you can have uh, a salmon or a bear on this one. Bo but there needs to be a fox on this one. It comes with cards that give you special rules for how you play each time, how to score points. And uh, you have this puzzle that I really enjoy where you are trying to um, make all the areas larger. So of course I can I can put a the salmon land, here. Landscape types. The uh, landscape types, yeah. yeah. Terrain types. Terrain. Okay. Whatever. And this game is so much fun. It it triggers me for choosing making it look nice. I want to have yes, all absolutely. the all the mountains together and absolutely. I want to have like these huge areas. Of course it won't work <laughs> in the end. But also having that puzzle, like, oh, but I need a salmon here. And there are ways to mitigate that. So this is such a beautiful game, such a fun game, that it is my number one. And it's it yours It is as well. our number one. And we... It's a little bit on the long side for the filler games. Yeah. But we, we play it pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, you you can be really yeah. quick about it. It's a it's a, it's a, um, big on the table, so you need definitely a somewhat not too small table. Yeah, like it's this is not airplane playable, I would say. Or no train, maybe, maybe. I want to give an honorable mention to an another honorable game. Honorable mention, and that game is, and I have to open it in this case because we have to show what's so special about it. Is this one, the upside down challenge? This is not a typical <laughs> game for us, but you you will know what I mean when I put the special feature on. I'll do it off camera. So, and the special feature is this. Y yay! It's upside down glasses. Now, what's not to love about this? So, it it, it truly is that. There is magic in those uh, glasses. When you, <laughs> when you look at what you're doing, everything is upside down. And that means uh, it, the, the game comes with an assignment. Write your name. 
you can write your name with your eyes closed, I have no doubt. But if you're looking at yourself writing and it's upside down, you are so confused because you might, it might look correct, but then it's not. Draw, uh, draw a car, draw, it doesn't a matter. House, Build something that the assignments are endless and you can just add to them. Uh, take a piece of paper and throw it in a box. Okay, well, you see the box, you see your hand with a piece of paper and you throw and you don't know what you're doing. It's really super fun. fun. I believe you can get upside down glasses uh, that are not a part of this game, but the game comes with really nice assignments. So yeah, we like it. The upside down challenge by Ravensburger. Yes. That's it. That's it. We were very fast. We were fast and my numbers got all confused, <laughs> <laughs> but we did it. Thank you so much for watching. Yes. Uh, we are live every day on twitch.tv slash Palooza, where we play board games mostly with you. So we send you a score sheet or you, you, you just download it and you can play along with the games that we play. Yes. Or you can just watch us do whatever. We we <laughs> sing a lot as well. And, yeah. I don't know if I'm looking at the camera. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the spectacular. My name is Dave Luza. I'm Ilka Luza. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.